Hey, good afternoon. How many, uh, how many are with you today? Hey, uh, it's, uh, it's just me. Alright, right this way. And you know you're uh, actually the first customer of the day. We're not, we're not usually this slow. guess how much I made in tips today. Is that so? How much? 157 bucks. So, less the 35 that we still owe for rent, that gives us about 120 bucks to put towards him. I mean, we have been looking at cribs and the room's painted, so we may as well put something in there. Yes, I agree. What about a rocking horse? Or uh, maybe a dress for his clothes? I know. I guess I could just ask my parents what they first got for me when I was on the way. Mmm, that's a good idea. I should probably do the same. <laughs> what are we going to do on this mobile? I don't know. Well, I mean, we're getting one at the store, aren't we? So, I guess it doesn't really matter what's specifically on each <laughs> limb. Just whichever one we like best. Yeah, I know you're right. I'll just get ahead of myself. <sighs> <sighs> I haven't even met him yet. I just know that I want the best for him. Now, not to change the subject, but I am starving. What's for dinner? Well, mister, since you asked, it is chicken strips and mm. fries. Although there were a, more on there, I've been nibbling a little bit. <laughs> oh, wow, it's good to be home and just relax. Mm -hmm. So, how was work? I know uh, making the transition to home has been different, to say the least. Well, I'm glad you're finally home and you get to rest. Mm. I have missed you. I hope you know that. Mm. But yeah, it's been different, but I think I'm finding my groove. Okay. I uh, miss seeing everyone in person and whatnot, but yeah, it's going okay. But uh, unlike you, I have been sitting around all day and every now and then I have to get up and stretch. Why don't you get rid of that? What? Why don't you get rid of it? The ring. You wear it everywhere. And I have a feeling if it wasn't for me stopping you, you'd wear more than your wedding ring. <laughs> Come on, babe. You know I can't do that. I, I, I worked hard for this ring and I fought for this ring and it was a goal of mine for a very long time and I'm sorry if that upsets you. Well, I get that. I, I do, but it's from such a long time ago. I mean, it's from college and you have not wrestled for a very long time. <laughs> so I ask you again, why don't you just get rid of it? You don't have to give it to Goodwill, just put it in a box, maybe in the attic? Well, what if I put it in a box in the attic and the house burns down? <laughs> oh babe, you know that won't happen. Mm. Ugh, listen, I've gotta eat. You know me and my cravings. <laughs> If I don't eat soon, I'm gonna get cranky. <laughs> well, of that fact, I am well aware. I need everything. Everything you have. The, the cash, the jewelry, everything you have. I, I don't have any cash, man. Uh, bullshit! I just saw you counting those bills. Hand them over now. You better hurry up. I, I'm gonna put a dent in you. Alright, alright, alright. Here's everything that I was holding. 
Okay, then let me just get into the cash register. I'm, I'm sorry, but it takes more than five seconds to open a cash register. Just put the knife down. Do you want the change too? No, j just the cash. All right, all right, sorry, just the cash. Okay, good. The joy too. No, you, you can't have my wedding ring, but, but here, you have all my money and take this. Just, please just leave. Ah, ah. Sorry, man. I need to for half a stash. trying to be strong for you. Really, I am. I just... Our son is here, by the way. We're on our way home from the hospital. I wish you could have been there. He, um... He has your eyes. I miss your eyes. The way they look deep into mine and tell me everything was gonna be alright. You never knew it, but, um, I used to walk by the restaurant every day on my way to work. <laughs> I love just standing there and watching you help the customers. You were so happy. But now, I can't even make dinner without thinking about you. How am I supposed to do this without you? And it all happened so fast. I was busy packing the hospital bag. When the phone rang and I, I wanted to let it go to voicemail, but something deep inside told me that I had to answer it and my heart stopped when the officer gave me the news. And everything after that is just a blur. How? How am I supposed to do this without you? Why did you have to go so soon? Why? Daddy's eyes. 